The Rangers and Cubs locking up at Wrigley Field and all players and coaches wearing number 42 commemorating Jackie Robinson's breaking of the color barrier back in 1947. Derek Holland getting the start for Texas, and he comes out strong. Second inning, he'll strike out Darwin Barney, and Barney making his season debut. In the third inning, opposing pitcher Travis Wood goes down swinging. Then Dave Sapelt will follow suit. Seven scoreless frames and six strikeouts for the lefty Holland. Bottom of the fourth now, Jeff Baker, the former Cubs, stepping in against Wood. Man on third with two outs, and Baker delivers an RBI double, splits the gap in left center field. Adrian Beltre comes in to score, and the Rangers get on the board first. It's 1-0 Texas. Let's jump to the eighth inning now. Same score. The Rangers have men at the corners and one out. Cubs reliever Sean Camp on the mound, and Camp will uncork an Aaron pickoff throw towards first base. That allows Ian Kinsler to come in to score, and Andrews takes two bases. He ends up at third. And even worse for Camp, Adrian Beltre is still in the batter's box. Beltre, a towering drive to left center. Going back is Sepert at the wall. Goodbye. He really had to hit that thing. Adrian Beltre going deep at Wrigley, and the Rangers lead four to nothing. Second of the year for Beltre. Bottom nine now. Joe Nathan comes on with two on and two out. He surrenders an infield single to load the bases. Then pinch hitter Nate Shearholtz lifts a fly ball into shallow left. Jeff Baker can't make the play. That goes down as a two-run double, and the Cubs cut the Rangers' lead in half. It's now four to two. Nathan would then hit a batter to load the bases again, and the last hope for Chicago is Darwin Barney. Two and two, Nathan back to the plate. Loop to center, that's gonna be caught by Gentry on a dive. Wow, what a way to end it. If that ball bounces and gets by him, the man on first might have scored. That was a do or die play, and he pulled it off. Wow. Both ninth inning runs were charged to Rangers reliever Michael Kirkman as Joe Nathan is able to collect his fifth save. And Derek Holland retires 21 of the 23 batters he faces. He gets just his first one of the year, but he lowers his ERA for the season to 1.64.